Hello everybody, I hope you are all doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have a great video for you all today where I'm going to be reviewing what happened to Bitcoin last night with that head and shoulders slash swing failure pattern that we saw leading to the bear flag for the continued move to the downside and now how today we have been actually channeling really nicely from that long position where I literally bought the bottom again <laughs> uh, which I'll be discussing through the thought process of why I took this position, okay? So I think this is going to be very uh, educational and also how I do believe that we will be closing out tonight. Obviously, the monthly close is tonight, so it's a very important close uh, and that we're looking in around seven hours time for the monthly close and then obviously the weekend ahead of us. So, um, yeah, it's a great time to be trading. Absolutely love it. Uh, let's first cover the swing failure pattern that we saw, okay? And this was this is the inverted chart, by the way, but you can see the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder, the break, the retest, and the move down, uh, leading you to this, like, 9,000 region, okay? This, for me, was not the main region. Obviously, here, you're looking on the normal, normal charts. It's not as actual actually clear as when you check on the inverted chart. But nevertheless, uh, obviously, you come up, you form that swing failure pattern where you've got a lot of market orders coming in here. Okay, you break to the downside, you bounce off a of support, but you form in the end a bear flag. Okay, then you break down again to the downside. Okay, and you get in that measured move of your uh, bear flag, bear pole. Okay, and you're coming down for a high confluence of reasons to be looking for longs at this point. Okay, this is your reason. You know, when you form your bear flag, that's your reason where you go. Sh you could even potentially go short here, close out of longs. Okay, and then when you get your measured move down, this is where you go aggressively long. We are still in an uptrend. Okay, we're still in an uptrend as um as mentioned like today on twitter i made, made a post like just saying um be careful of like the people that you follow because there's too many people that literally flip flop biases uh every single day as i said here like just be careful of who you're following that there's so many people that are extremely bullish here and then it comes down uh for a great opportunity to buy and they suddenly flip bearish and it just makes no sense these sort of flip-flop traders lose money i guarantee it they lose money because they just get so emotionally affected okay i had a plan and i've stuck stuck to my plan very very nicely and this is not bragging this is me just being true to myself and, and sticking to my plan in trading and it has worked very well so obviously this is what happened last night okay so this is obviously when we were moving down <laughs> well, you know we're literally at the bottom okay literally at the bottom here around uh, so this post was made up we were at 7944 okay and as i said buying on this massive dip here okay and uh, this was definitely a dip okay but you can see the macro higher lows so um yeah i, I just like to refer to the tweet so people know that <laughs> you know i'm actually doing it um but yeah, not that I have any reason to to make it up. But yeah, here we are looking at uh, the the macro higher lows. Okay, and this is like what I've been mentioning to my group a lot. Um, that w let me just hide all the drawings. Okay, so we obviously have our macro higher lows here. Okay, when you can see higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. You know, at this point, we have just formed a higher high and, and you know, and, and just still another higher low. OK, the real important higher low that you're obviously looking at in this trend is your six thousand four hundred. But then you do have a, a secondary at seven thousand four hundred and you do have a slight one here at eight thousand seven thousand eight hundred. OK, so these are like your key supports for the way down here. And when I add everything back on. OK, you can see this key support 7,883. OK, so this is like a key support level where you did. Obviously, if you lose this support, your next run down is that obviously you're looking at about, you know, a, a substantial four hundred dollar move. Um, so this is like your swing low that you would be playing off of. Or, you know, personally, I was playing off of when you're looking for the aggressive longs because you have then this clear invalidation area. OK, for the short term, this is obviously already down like a heavy percentage on the day. Um, so you are, you know, taking it one step at a time. You have to be looking at this low before you move down to your next low. OK, but, um, you know, this is what I was looking at. The confluence of fibs that we had in this region. OK, and this is what we're looking at from the swing low here to the overall swing high. So swing low up to swing high of the overall sort of wave structure that we're in, where we could be looking at this as a finished wave. OK, then taking from swing low to swing high. OK, you can see that from this fib from the swing low up to the swing high here. OK, you can see that the price. Let me just move this so it's more clear. OK, you can see that you have the 382 sat at 8000. OK, then a secondary fib taken from the swing low to the swing high. We also had the 1618 extension. OK, so that is viewing a lot of confluence for me. Uh, you know, joining two fibs together for a nice confluence like that, combining with the fact that we had a swing low just below us. Okay, so the prime entry is obviously as close as you can get to your swing low. You do have this breaker. Okay, so like, a, sorry, an order block here that you could see here, you have this like nice region uh, of, of potential support as well. So for me, this is like big confluence, big confluence, 618, 382, order block, like 
yeah, this is why I went was comfortable, very comfortable going long in this position. OK, and obviously th this is like the time where, you know, for a fact, most people are panic selling at this point. You know, it's, it's normal, I guess, if you're a new, if you're a newer trader and you don't have the experience, it's it's normal to panic sell in this sort of scenario. You see it going down and you think it's just going to go down and down and down. OK, and that's where you need uh, to learn because <laughs> it's not going to just go down and down and down. OK, obviously we break the high, we come down for our low, but guess what? We still hold a higher low at this point. So like, yeah, that, that's basically why I was so aggressive going on this long position. And obviously this was my follow up uh, tweet just to uh, it made me laugh, basically. Uh, <laughs> Rob doesn't mind me mentioning this. And, and it's funny because he made a post like saying, uh, yeah, it's something about like I have massive balls to take this trade. And it's funny because he was like, we're going to 6K. I was like, I've just added to a long like at this point. And he's like, but we're going to 6K. And I'm like, yeah, uh, don't worry about me, mate. I'm going to be doing good in this trade, I think. And then like, um, you know, like what well, is like a half an hour late. I'm like, yeah, here we go. Price up $150 from entry. <laughs> it's like you. Um, I, I'm not sure if I can say this word on YouTube, but you can just read it. You are the king. <laughs> um, yeah, that, it, it felt it feels nice to win trades. And, uh, you know, it just I, I love it. I love it. I love it. But as you can see, like my entry here, obviously getting, you know, my ov overall fill position at 7,992. Obviously, now we are sat at 8,400. So a big $400 up from that entry over. So, um, yeah, that was overall a really nice entry. And I'll show you how I've been day trading this. OK, you can really simply see here. Now, this has been like trading really nicely. OK, in our in our pattern here. And you can also see when we come over to uh, yeah, this is something that I want to refer to in a second. But you can see how on BitMEX, you know, we're getting held down by the 200 EMA at this point, 15 minute shot. Um, so, yeah, that, that's overall how I've been trading um, Bitcoin and like nailing that bottom, nailing that bottom. And that's just staying true to the plan, not getting like shook out by the market. You can just see you form a bear flag and you come down for a one to one. You know, you have a high confluence of fibs. You have the order blocks. You know, there's there's a strong level of support here. And obviously there's no guarantee in trading. You know, I put on a lot of, you know quite a decent size money you know 30 30 bitcoin trade you know it's uh, not a small amount of money to be risking but um i had the confluence i had the probabilities for me in my favor and i took that trade and this is a trade that i would take every single time okay and this is why strategy and an edge is so important in trading and i safely can say i have my edge and it, it works really really well so that's enough of me bragging. <laughs> um, and now let's move back onto the chart. So coming into the weekly close tonight. Okay, so coming into the weekly close, really for me, I'm just going to be looking at this parallel, uh, whether we obviously can, you know, break the highs at this point or whether we break the lows. That for me is like the most telling thing. Okay, we're in the uptrend now uh, of, the, of, of, of the smaller time time frame for the next, you know, seven hours going into that weekly close. OK, so you have this really important parallel to be looking at. OK, and then like simply overhead. OK, simply overhead. You're going to be looking up to around, you know, you on this, you know, you, you see a high level of resistance around here when you sort of see these regions coming together. OK, so you're looking up to around 0 0.5 to where we are right now. Heavy resistance. But while we hold up up sloping support, absolutely fine, in my opinion. OK, and then when you look more at the macro view, you come back, back out for the macro view and it honestly looks like even nicer. So we just hide everything here. OK, you can just see high, 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 you know, I've already mentioned it. High, 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 you know, going on, etc. Um, all I wanted to show you was this as well, a post that I made. OK, where we're obviously looking here at downwards, strong downwards movements that we have had on this chart. I'm not sure how this has got here. Strong downwards movement on this chart that we have had prior to moving back up again. OK, strong downwards movement, moving back up, strong downwards movement, moving back up, strong downwards movement, moving back up. And now this is just a potential another strong movement down slash are we going to be continuing back up? And that is like the thesis that we have to like, you know, decide at a moment. So, um, you know, that's take hate out for a second. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that, that, that's what I'm looking at. And these fibs that I've obviously got on this chart. OK, so I'll just show you what I'm taking them from. That is the overall low up to the high. You can see 382 at 6,800 um, where you can see these prices, 6,800, 6,100, 5,400 for lower supports. Uh, say if we get some sort of trap going on. Uh, but, you know, taking it one step at a time, taking it one step at a time. We obviously have some key supports prior to this. OK, this is on the bit for next chart, but you do have some key supports on the way back down. OK, so, yeah, as um, as as mentioned, yeah, I'm, I'm leaning still more bullish. OK, I've been taking aggressive longs. I've been buying dips. I've been doing very well for myself playing this market aggressively. You know, the altcoins as well. So like today, I will show you some examples really quickly. Um, 786s. So we were looking at Walton Chain. OK, Walton Chain, 786, lovely bounce. Uh, Icon, the exact same. OK, 
786 lovely bounce you know the there's alts to oh yeah seller uh, how have you pronounced this? Like, this has just been unreal today. Uh, and this is where you got this, like, really nice rounded bottom for, like, amazing continuation. Rounded bottom bullish divergences coming up for, like, yeah, just, like, really nicely. But you can see, obviously, we are coming up to this resistance line now where we are on right now. But, you know, there's so much opportunity to be playing the market long, basically. There's so much opportunity. And until, as mentioned, until we break down from my personal key supports and areas of valid invalidation, like, I will continue to trade this market aggressively. Like, I really, really will. And, uh, you know, I stay true to my word. If if I lose, then I lose. And if I win, then I win. So um, that's what I wanted to end up with here today. Um, you can see on the on the chart I see here, like, key support 618, key support 382. Now we're back above it. Going into the monthly close, uh, you know, we'd really want to see this close above. Obviously, here we're looking on Binance. Okay, so 8,250 uh, resistance here is going to be strong at 8,500. So we're in just like the mid region now where we could, um, <laughs> you could uh, just end up moving sideways and forming a new pattern. But, um, you know, that those are the major things that I wanted to cover in this video for you. Oh, yeah, EOS. Yeah, EOS, lovely move. Uh, but that's obviously really dependent on the, of the news that's happening tomorrow. So you could see this uh, dump off potentially unless the move, news is very bullish. But EOS, yeah, hyping for that 1st of June news. OK, um, so, yeah, I think that this video um, has covered everything that I wanted to cover, covered, obviously, that head and shoulders that we saw hitting target swing fire pattern, the aggressive dip buying for myself and the reasons why I did, I've done those aggressive dip buys. Hopefully that will help educationally um, in identify the important resistances and supports that I'm looking at, how I'm actually day trading this. I've given you a lot of information Um that is everything that I wanted to cover, okay? And obviously, in terms of alts, those certain alts I've been trading today, uh, okay? Um, yeah, hope you've all enjoyed this video. If you have, really honestly appreciate it if you do give me a like and a comment because it helps greatly. Um, so, you know, if, if you've enjoyed, then, yeah, please, uh, very appreciate it if you could do that, okay? And uh, yeah, I hope that you continue to trade this market. And this is last comment I will say is just be careful of the flip flop traders. OK, if someone was extremely bullish here, OK, someone was extremely bullish here. And now today they are ultra bearish. Um, you know, just be careful of the people that you follow, because so many people get wrecked because they follow these traders. The majority that flip flop trade have zero money on the line and they just char and do not trade and they have zero money. And these are sort of not the sort of people that you want to be trusting in, in you know, make your own decisions, do your own research. But um, that is a general bit of advice that I would give. OK, take that as you will. OK. But generally, if someone flip flops like this, it's because they literally do not have any money on the line. Um, you know, if you have a plan and a strategy, then you have to obviously abide by your plan and strategies. And and for me, it's long until we break key supports. OK, and then obviously when we break key supports, I will reevaluate the market. And it's not like I'm just stuck permeable. I do also have areas in validation. I do see resistances on the way back up here. I do see that we could potentially form another flag and move back down. You know, I have a trade, you know, as a trader, I have every scenario um, and I am sort of prepared for every single way to trade this market. And that's how I kill it. Like I mentioned over on my Discord yesterday, I was like, I put in 12 hours a day trading. Like I'm so putting in so many hours. And this is like, for me, part of my edge. I absolutely love it. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's enough. I, I don't want to go on about myself. So um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video. <laughs> um, thank you, everybody. Cheers. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>